Hey everyone, welcome back to YOLO Live channel where we dive into everything live streaming. Today we're taking a deep dive into monitoring your live stream using real-time A analytics with YOLOcast. If you want to understand how to track your stream's performance and make data-driven decisions, this video is for you. Let's jump right in. Real-time analytics are crucial for managing live streams. They help you track performance, engage with your audience, and troubleshoot issues on the fly. YOLOcast offers a robust real-time analytics dashboard that provides insights into various metrics. Today, we'll explore these metrics and what they mean for your live streaming success. Here's the YOLOcast dashboard. We'll walk through each key metric and explain what they reveal about your live stream. First up, live views. This shows the number of viewers currently watching your stream. For instance, if you're streaming a concert and you see a spike in live views during a key performance, it indicates that segment is particularly engaging. Live average duration measures how long viewers stay tuned during the live broadcast. For example, if your average duration is 30 minutes but the stream is one hour long, it means viewers are dropping off midway. This might prompt you to make content adjustments or improve pacing. Monitoring this metric helps you gauge if your content is engaging enough to keep viewers interested throughout the stream. Recorded views counts how many times your stream has been watched after the live event. If you see high recorded views, it indicates your content has lasting appeal. For instance, if your live cooking class is frequently rewatched, it suggests viewers find the content valuable for future reference. Think of recorded views as a measure of your content's enduring interest. Recorded average duration shows the average time viewers spend watching the recorded version of your stream. A high number here means people find your content worth watching even after the live event is over. Total views combines both live and recorded views. This is your overall reach. For example, if your live sports event received 1,000 live views and 500 recorded views, your total views would be 1,500. Total views give you a broad view of how many times your stream has been seen. Unique views tells you the number of individual viewers. This helps in understanding the size of your audience. If you have 1,000 views but only 500 unique views, it indicates that some viewers are watching multiple times. Unique views are crucial for measuring the reach of your content and identifying audience growth. Total watch time is the sum of all the time viewers spend watching your stream. For instance, if your stream has 10,000 total watch minutes, it means your content is highly engaging. This metric helps you understand the overall impact and engagement of your content. Total average duration combines live and recorded streams to show the average viewing time. It provides a holistic view of how long viewers are staying engaged. A higher average duration indicates your content holds viewers' attention well. Let's talk about viewer engagement. This is presented as a line graph in YOLOcast, showing when viewers are most engaged during your stream. For example, if you see a spike in engagement around a particular segment, that's a good indicator of what content resonates most with your audience. Viewer engagement helps you identify peak moments in your stream and adjust your content strategy accordingly. Viewership by destination breaks down where your viewers are watching from, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, or your website. For example, if you see that 70% of your viewers are on YouTube and only 30% are on Facebook, it might influence where you focus your promotional efforts. This analysis helps you understand which platforms are most effective for reaching your audience and optimizing your multi-platform strategy. If you're using a video source from YOLObox or another encoder, you'll also find stream metrics at the bottom left of your dashboard. This section shows a line graph of streaming performance across different bit rates and resolutions. This helps you monitor the quality of your stream and adjust settings to ensure a smooth viewing experience for your audience. Now that we've covered real-time analytics, if you're looking to dive even deeper into your live streaming data, YOLOcast offers a powerful reports feature. This is where you can get detailed insights that go beyond real-time analytics. Let's break it down. The report section is divided into two main modules, tabular report and graphical report. First up, the tabular report. This module presents a detailed list of all your live streaming events. 
Here you can quickly see essential metrics like total viewing time and total viewership for each stream. For example, if you've recently streamed multiple events, you can easily compare which one performed the best in terms of viewer engagement and total watch time. And if you want to dig deeper into the specifics of a particular stream, you can click on detailed reports to get a more granular view of that event's performance. Next is the graphical report, which offers a more visual representation of your data. This is incredibly useful for understanding trends over a specific period. Let's say you want to review all your live streams from August. You simply set the date range, and the summary section will present you with critical metrics like total views, unique viewers, average view duration, and watched events. It also provides a comparison with the same period last year, helping you understand how your performance has improved or where it might have slipped. Within the graphical report, the When Viewers Watch module is particularly insightful. It breaks down your views into live versus recorded segments. This is crucial for decision making. If you notice that a significant portion of your audience is watching recorded sessions rather than tuning in live, you might consider adjusting your live streaming times or even focusing more on content that works well for on-demand viewing. Additionally, the viewer's portrait section within this module shows the percentage of new viewers versus returning viewers, giving you a clear idea of your audience's loyalty and growth. Another key section is how viewers watch. This section displays data on playback quality and device type. For instance, playback quality reveals the resolutions your audience is using to watch your streams. If you see a large portion of your audience watching in lower resolutions, it might be a sign to optimize your stream for lower bandwidth or adjust your content accordingly. Device type data shows whether viewers are watching on mobile, desktop, or other devices. Given the dominance of mobile viewing today, if you notice a high percentage of mobile users, you might want to tailor your content more for vertical video or ensure your stream's bitrate and resolution are optimized for mobile performance. The viewership by destination section is also a game changer. It breaks down your views by platform, whether that's YouTube, Facebook, or your own website. This information helps you understand where your audience is most active, allowing you to allocate your resources effectively. Lastly, the Where Viewers Watch module shows you the geographical distribution of your viewers. Knowing where your audience is located can help in tailoring content to specific regions or planning your streaming schedule to match different time zones. At the very bottom of the reports page, YOLOcast includes an events list this period section. This handy feature allows you to click through and view the details of each event during the selected period. It's a simple yet effective way to review your streaming activities and analyze what worked and what didn't. And that's it. YOLOcast analytics give you everything you need to level up your live streams. If you're serious about streaming, you've got to check it out. Why not sign up and give YOLOcast a try? You'll see the difference right away. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit like, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips. See you in the next one.